that is a big pile of catfish. Holy jump, guys. Woo. Good morning, everybody. Guys, we are in Little Elm, Texas. Look, this is really cool. So her challenge today, which I'll tell you about in a sec, is at Towers Tap House, which is, uh, where are you on the lens? Right there. Right there, that building right there. It's pretty cool. I'm staying literally right across the street at what they call the Elms. This is a brand new hotel, which is pretty cool. With the uh, horrible Tesla right there. Horrible Tesla. Still not a fan of the electric vehicle. But, so we're gonna do a catfish challenge, which is super cool. But what else they have, you totally can't see it. There's like a water lake thingy thing right here. And they do like wakeboarding slash like water skiing thingy things. And we're totally gonna go try that out. Um, so we're like literally going to be eating with the fishes and swimming with the fish today. But um, in the meantime, well, I'll show you my morning routine because people are like, what do you do? Blah, blah, blah. Well, like I literally just got up. Good hair. Look at that. Look nice. Um, I'm going to grab some like drinks. Just get some fluids in me. I had a lot of like sodium and salt. I had a challenge yesterday. I need to like, I need some, I need to get some, some things flowing. I can tell. Put it that way. But um, anyway, that's over today's challenge while we're waiting. Um, so today we are going to be eating a whole bunch of catfish. It's catfish, it's french fries, it's basically a big family platter. They're, this place, Towers, is very, very well known for their catfish. Um, anyway, I'll give you the rest of the specifics when we're actually over there, but in the meantime, we'll show you my morning routine. So it's not like I just sit there and pound a back or anything, really monitor it, but I probably just naturally drink about a liter to two liters, let's say at least a good liter of liquid. Mm. I love flavored beverages. Never at home do I drink like decaf coffee, but sometimes I'll have a decaf, they got some in the lobby, or maybe a tea. Um, I drink, like right now I'm drinking some uh, Starburst Blue Raspberry drink mix. Um, so I start my day off with non-caffeinated beverages and uh, just liquid. Mm. I love flavored beverages. Amazing. So yeah, that's kind of how we start. Definitely got some of that text heat going on, but yeah, seriously, this is a brand new building. Looking real nice, looking real nice. Bad run with the vehicle. You know, my favorite vehicle, obviously. Um, but I'm gonna grab uh, my shoes. I'm gonna do a little bit of cardio. I do um, a little bit of faster cardio daily. Now, sometimes that takes place in the morning. Sometimes that takes place at 5 p.m. Regardless, fast cardio. It's way, uh, one of the ways that I just do it for health metrics. I'm sure it helps with burn calories, but do it for your health, guys. Do some daily cardio. So I'm just stretching out here poolside real quick because it's nice and beautiful out here in the Texas heat. It's probably about, uh, yeah, 95, maybe 100 right now. Gonna heat up a little more. Let's stretch out. Then I'm probably gonna either go run the stairs or maybe do the bike in the, the Jimmy thing. Like I said, we'll do some, some, some sort of cardio for a little bit before I gotta go get my ride, my, uh, I don't know, wakeboard thing. All right, and we are doing the stairs. So literally just the stairs in the hotel. Um, Cause the machines, gym machines aren't really hitting it at the moment. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna, I have to do it slower while I talk to you, but get a good pace. Uh, unfortunately, only about 30 minutes to do this. I'd rather do this for about 45 minutes or an hour, but like I said, got an appointment. I am excited to go wakeboarding, so I'm gonna continue walking the stairs. You can literally, whether it's a jog outside, walk outside, or walk in the stairs somewhere, you can always pretty much find, I'll use the term exercise equipment or something that will, you know, satisfy something, at least for cardio. Cardio is easy, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can do it anywhere. That's pretty much it. Then after this, we're gonna be wakeboarding. Now we got a little sweat on. Let's go uh, literally head over across the road. Great location. <laughs> and uh, let's go try this wakeboarding out and hopefully not wipe out and die.
Hi everybody, so here we are with the crazy Towers Tap House Wipeout Challenge guys. And seriously, they, they're they very connected to Hydrus right there, which you will see me do at the end, which was freaking awesome. Basically, it's like a wakeboarding park. But long story short, there's a lot of wiping out. You can actually watch, I'm actually watching people right here going around wakeboarding. And I was, let's just say, I even had a bit of wipeout earlier. I'll show you that later. But in the meantime, guys, so we do have the huge eight pieces of fish. These are about a half pound each, guys, about seven ounces. These look absolutely delicious. I do love me some good old fried catfish. And they're very well known for the catfish here. They have like a certain catfish night. Plus, I mean, guys, we're in Texas. And in fact, this is actually Texas's biggest catfish challenge like fish challenge, fried fish challenge at all. So I'm super excited to be here. We have also a couple of the uh, jalapeno uh, hush puppies. I'm not for real what the hush puppy is. Basically it's like deep fried corn meal. That's what it is, it's deep fried corn meal, let's be honest. But jalapenos, etc. cetera, in here. They also have these french fries which look super, super crispy. Got like a really crazy breading on them. They also have a little bit of their like kind of coleslaw, coleslaw action, cabbage-ish action, all that good stuff. Definitely excited, guys, because not only with my lovely fish, of course, but I have some ketchup. This is one of my favorite items with ketchup. I also have their house-made charter sauce. I also have their house-made cocktail sauce. Let me know if you like to eat your fish with down below. Cocktail sauce and fish, I don't know. I, so, I associate it with shrimp, but I do like cocktail sauce. I love horseradish, basically horseradish and ketchup, right? But you know what else I got, guys? Got me some hot sauce. In fact, they said, Joel, I'm just gonna give you two new bottles. So they gave me a bottle of Cholula, a whole bottle of Tabasco. Literally, we're gonna have to open this up, it's brand new. And then, for all those lovely people out there, that normally I don't eat it with catfish, but definitely fried fish, I have myself a London Pub malt vinegar. I like all the flavors. I actually like vinegar with fries a lot. Maybe we'll have it on everything, I don't know. But that, guys, like we said, we do have 30 minutes to complete the challenge. Get that $50-ish meal for free. So, um, yeah, a lot of food, not a lot of time, but uh, should be good. So with that, let's get started here, just momentarily. You guys good to get started? Good. Can we get started? Oh, yeah. All right, let's do this. All right, everybody, so how about we say maybe the count of, uh, maybe like uh, five, four, three, two, one. You know where we're gonna start? What's your name again? Jake for Jake. Gotta eat the vegetables, guys. Kids, eat your healthy vegetables. So let's start with that. Oh, we got catfish, french fries, hush puppies. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Towers Tap House, guys, taking on this giant catfish challenge. So, catfish for a lot of people on Earth is not super, super common. So the southern United States definitely has a lot of catfish. And in all reality, catfish pretty much live globally. They're pretty much like everywhere on Earth. They're a very kind of like almost half invasive slash just very uh, rambunctious and or non-delicate species. But in a lot of places, people don't just call them straight catfish. Like in the southern states here, catfish is catfish. That is the one activity. I'm in support of you doing. Don't do anything else to do. But eat your veggies, kids. Alright. Now, let's go on to catfish and chill. This looks amazing. I'm excited. So, first try by itself. Mmm. Woo! Oh. Nice flour. Mmm. Sweet. A little salty. Mmm. That's some good catfish. Oh man. Mm. Mm. I love catfish. Oh my gosh. Mm. Seriously, like, this is something of the South. And, mm. One of my favorite. So good. And again, I have so many sauces to eat with. But for those who have never had catfish, the way I would kind of describe it, it's still like a pretty white, light meat. Um, it is a little bit meatier than something like a haddock or, or a pollock. Um, it depending, like sometimes it can have a pretty strong flavor and the distinct, there is a distinct catfish flavor if that makes sense. Sometimes it doesn't, like this catfish here was amazingly flavored, just pure delicious. If you're not familiar, you don't know what catfish tastes like, 
to me it's like well it tastes like cabbage but it has a little bit of sweetness it has a <coughs> Woo! oh man mm. in that tabasco guys that hot sauce mm. i love fish with hot sauce I mean, by itself it was good. I'll try the cocktail sauce too. Ketchup. Pork rather. Hold on, let's try that. A little bit of hot sauce. Yep. Mm. Delicious. Woo! All right. That being said, though, guys, I better shove and eat. Woo. It's also kind of a staple of the Southern United States to batter it with like a cornmeal breading that we did, like we, you know, we see kind of here on the table. Um, just again, versus like a beer batter or a more kind of flour mixture, which is very popular, you know, in our British and English friends fish and chips, but also fish and chips like in Canada and all over the place. Um, so again, for the challenge, we did have 30 minutes to complete in order to get the $50 meal for free. Definitely a sizable challenge. Lots of catfish quite a few of their crunchy crunchy fries and then some of their hush puppies hot damn guys that is a that's a huge fillet huge mm. and thick damn boy eat thick <laughs> For the catfish also, they had a little bit more than just, you know, the traditional kind of, we'll call it fish fry. They definitely seasoned that cornmeal fish fry up a little bit more. But one thing I did forget was ketchup. Put a little bit of ketchup on there, a little bit of hot sauce, do that action. Mm. Ketchup and hot sauce, guys. Yeah, Joel! Yeah! And then with the addition of all my like sauces, my hot sauce, my cocktail sauce, my uh, ketchup, the vinegar, I just had so many amazing flavor combinations. Just every single bite was just a punch of flavor and I absolutely loved it. Um, you're probably wondering why I don't have earrings in and if you didn't notice that, now you definitely have noticed. Let's just say things got a little crazy at the uh, hydras, at the wakeboarding, the wipeout, um, which you can literally see from this window. Like if you could see what I could see right now on camera, it would be looking at the window of people literally riding around. So you're not going to want to miss that at the end of the video. That was, uh, it was fun, but let's just say we got a little wet and a little wild. Oh no. Uh oh. We lost one hush puppy on the floor. Yeah, you want to go ask him for one? We need a hush puppy, guys. Welcome, friends. Hey, Chad, we need one hush puppy. You got it, dude. Thank you. So I would consider this like a high level intermediate challenge, um, both due to the time limit and both due to the weight. I mean, it was probably roughly mm, six pounds of food, which is quite hefty. So I mean, it's great with all the sauces, but honestly, I didn't even eat all the sauces for this. It's very good cabbage. And with only 30 minutes, you know, it definitely has a little bit of difficulty in the addition of um, this food, I, I mean, I consider the catfish and fries a relative moderate, like, difficulty of actually eating. Again, certain things like steaks are very hard to eat, they just take a long time. Um, certain things like ice cream are very quick. They don't, you know, they're very easy to eat. This is a moderate difficulty, so definitely quite a uh, difficult challenge. You no, know, that was a good bite. Woo! I think about seven minutes in, I'm gonna show you. Yep, seven minutes. So thoroughly enjoying it. But that everybody, that's pretty much the majority of the information I'd say. So just a massive pile of catfish, a massive, huge Texas-sized food challenge. 
One thing I do not like though, I do not like lemon with my fish. So let me know what you think of lemon in a comment down below, whether you like it with your fish. So now one thing I will do because they gave it to me, and it is a standard accompaniment. Try tartar sauce. So, I don't know, when I think of tartar sauce, I don't try to think of catfish, I think of like more like an English fried fish, but the locals say this is the jam. So when in Texas, try this. Tartar sauce action out. I mean, that's pretty good. We got two, we only needed one, but thank you. I'll one for you. one? Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Look, guys, sharing is caring. I told you guys I'm not a glutton. I would love to share all the time. Softer I can. Yeah, good. Woo-wee. That is good. My favorite combination, though, guys. So ketchup and hot sauce with some good old fried fish. In. Last piece of this. There we go. Lovely cabbage. There we go. Thank you, thank you. Although it's always one of these moments where it's a little bittersweet because mm. I love cabbage. It tastes delicious. I wish. Mm. Sometimes I just wish it wouldn't end. But I have tried before, and you cannot eat endless catfish. At least I can. Despite my mouth wanting to. My stomach has other, uh, other plans for it. Next, we're down to some french fries and chill. Bye -bye. Crispy french fry. Fries in the vinegar. Mm. Oh yeah. The malt vinegar I take the fries with more. Certain things you need ketchup, like for, and fries. Fries and ketchup are the best. Remember, 12 minutes down. It's a catfish and chill. I'm just gonna sip the vinegar, guys. Mm. Woo! Hey, Joel, I thought 
Mr. Blair. You said you like fried pickles. I don't. No? I don't know. Not at all? I thought <laughs> I heard those. I don't know who you heard that from. Uh oh, I thought I heard fried pickles earlier. I mean, I'll try one after, I guess. Right. Thank you. This Appreciate is amazing. It. You killed it, dude. Well, thank you. Not done yet. Don't jinx it. Am I to get these fries? Now we're down to some Hush Puppies here. Give these all, see what they're all about. Oh! That is good. Dang good. Mm. There's some onion in there. Mm. Four mil. Very good. I got a lot. Mm. That's a good Hush Puppy. Do people eat Hush Puppies with like hot sauce or anything or just as is? Ketchup. Ketchup. Alright, let's try the ketchup. Pretty good. I'm gonna try a little hot sauce. I think it'd be a good addition to hot sauce, being as jalapeno after all. <laughs> Excuse there me, woo! Five minutes of the shack. There it is. Woo. For that cabbage, definitely deserves some compliments. For that everybody. I see we're done. Yes. Good. Woo! Thank you, Chuck. Woo! Appreciate you. What was the time with him? 1356, guys. So just shy of 14 minutes. Hot day. I gotta say, that catfish was absolutely delicious. Really, 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 really enjoyed it. It was crispy, it was crunchy, it was moist, it was juicy. Um, I'll try a bite of a fried pickle. I'm personally not a fried pickle fan. I'm sure they're great. One thing I actually, I like raw pickles better because they have that acidity. I like strong flavors, so we'll try this fried pickle today. Think about it, Tally. That's a fried pickle. Nothing wrong with that. For that, everyone, I want to give a huge thank you to Towers here, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to everybody who came on out to the challenge today. We always love to see the lovely faces here in Texas. And after about three weeks, this is my last day here, guys. So, woo, it's been a, uh, excuse me, comes to show. I said it with bittersweet, remorse, whatever you call it. Because while I've been eating way too much food, and I'm totally okay to take a break from eating way too much food. I love Texas. It's a great state, uh, woo, great people, great food. And uh, let's just say, I've eaten lots of animals while we're here at JoeEats.com. And that, guys, we can get the $50 meal free. And uh, that's about that. So, of course, the next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Yeah! And did that. Definitely recommend coming get some catfish. Until next time, have a day. That's it. Yeah, man. Thank you, guys. You want some fried pickles? I didn't touch them. You want fried pickles? Try. Flashback. So we made it over to Hydrus. This is the wakeboarding. So watch me fail. All right. So this is what it's like. So it's like a pulley system where you hold on to a rope on the wakeboard and it like rips you around. So. There's no doubt now. There's a guy here doing like flips a second ago. Some of these people are intense. If I can even just like get to a point where I can ride it standing up, I'll be more than satisfied. So let's uh, get our gear and see what this is all about. All right, so we have the kind of beginner-ish knee-ish board, and then you get the real board like these people have. It's almost a strap in like a almost like a surfboard. So let's see what uh, watch this chica get rocking and rolling. All right, first lap on the kneeboard went real well, actually. Didn't even fall. The one question, make sure you ask before I did. 
I didn't ask till after. I was like, how do you stop? But uh, it was cool. So see this guy like coming around the edge. So they're obviously doing the stand-up one, but it's really, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was cool. Well, the stand-up one definitely gonna be a lot harder, but uh, heck, I mean, we're gonna do it again and again. Let's do this thing. Everybody, that was hilarious. So I got my first lap real well. And then the last two I've wiped out. <laughs> I think I'm just like, I was overthinking it, but it's a lot of fun. Again, I'm only on the knee board, so I'm not even like standing up yet. Uh, then after this, after you get like kind of the technique, because when you go around the corner, it really whips you. So like when you're going straight, super easy. But when you go around that corner, you gotta like lean out. Um, Cause that thing just propels you like a whip, but uh, it's fun, <laughs> it's really fun. So the next step is if you wanna do a wakeboard standing up, uh, so let's see if we have time to do that, but hot damn, it is it is a great way to like spend a summer, I don't know, Texas day. Amazing. Everyone, we officially got the wakeboard. This is the one with the boots. This is going to be real. I'm just going to see if I can get one little kickoff here. There's no way I'm going to make it around on the first go, I don't think so. See if I can even just get the launch, we'll call it. The most, that's apparently the most difficult part. And uh, let's see what this is all about. Hopefully I don't smack my face up and die. Almost lost my shorts the one time. Stand up. Stand up. Sweet. So overall that took, uh, I don't know. I think honestly an hour max, maybe just less than an hour. Um, I did three runs on the knee board, uh, wiped twice <laughs> the last two. First one made it perfect. Did three runs on the uh, wake board, wiped the first two, got the last one at least part way, which is super fun. Um, actually wakeboarding, once you got going, the, the difficulty for me was finding how to launch and then once I got going, actually, I thought it was pretty easy, but going around that second turn, um, I had so much slack in it, I knew like I was gonna get pulled, which I'm, they're telling me all the techniques I should have told me before I started as I go, and no, I'm just kidding, I'm just teasing them. This has been awesome. Um, they're like, if you have a lot of slack, just let go. Should have done it, so I didn't wipe. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we gotta head over to the restaurant, but I'm totally coming back, guys, so would recommend. Hi, everybody, the time has come. Not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe, click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you wanna watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out, appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click one of these videos.